Hello, Bill Molino here for Bill Basement Update on Revolutionary War figures. Uh, Mike Priest, the famous author and historian of Antietam and Gettysburg. These are the flea market figures I purchased from him. And we're going to do chit chat time. And I have some requests from some of the viewers. Um, I think it was Bruce and a couple others. Um, so the plan is uh, we're going to use E6000. All right, um, let's just get the uh, elephant out of the room. Magnets. Of course, the great Ron Prowman uses magnets. Many people use magnets. I've decided in my world, which is a lot more complicated than a lot of people realize, I'm gluing these down into four man units, four figures per cube. And then the request was some people wanted to see the figures closer up, such as this. And I get the, I don't know how to get the, the focusing in, but we'll work on that. Um, they want to know this, the figures. So we have some IMAX, BMC, Marks, and just a mishmash. And then we're going to get some of these figures glued and mounted and that's where we're at so if you're wondering um, why I'm doing this um, basically I'm getting old and I th I don't play enough with my wargaming figures because it takes me forever at times to get uh, units out on uh, out in the single figure groupings so my plan is to make these units really easy to get out of a plastic tub now this isn't everyone's cup of tea let's be honest probably Ron and is right now cringing over the Snyder Pretzel King but for me um, and then I'm gonna flock these of course so I'm gonna change our camera angle and see how that works so we're building a continental line unit right now now I had a couple people ask me what rules will I use well great question everyone believe it or not um, there is a website called Junior General uh, Matt runs that it has probably a, a hundred or more wargaming rule sets and scenarios Junior General now Junior General are very basic war game rules and scenarios for war gaming mostly in 172nd um, and he has World War One, World War Two airplane rules, Korean jet fighters even. So, but his, a lot of his rules can really be adapted to 54 millimeter. And for me, um, I'm hoping to do more school groups. Again, there was a time I stopped because of the issues with uh, background checks in Pennsylvania every different school system had another set of rules and regulations and it got very tedious um, but some states um, now just have a, a blanket um, background check so it's a lot easier to do a school program and my plan here is to uh, you know to if I have a Boy Scout troop or something to that effect, we can easily uh, educate the young, the youngins on both military history and war gaming. So the uh, Continental Line unit here is coming along, and let's see what you can see. You can see it very good. 
And so some of these figures, which I'm going to bring up now, um, some are IMEX, some are BMC. Um, very happy with these figures I got from Mike Priest. Um, and I don't know if I'll be able to get these all flocked this weekend. My goal was to try to have them ready for a game. Um, the Chuckleheads, by the way, are going to New Jersey. Um, they're going to a convention in New Jersey. And gosh, I forgot the name of the convention. So, as we watch me uh, work on some more line troops here. So we have militia now. We're going to put this stand of militia troops here. So the idea is I can have these units in my long plastic tub I buy at Walmart and quickly quickly have them out so this is uh, four times ten is 40 figures I'm only handling ten times where instead of him ha would be handling um, you know 40 figures and it is true and no magnets so what are you working on in your world I'm sort of curious I do try to read every post now I gotta say I've gotten to the point uh, between some things with the new house and my wife's issues and uh, that I can't always respond to everyone anymore and I hope you understand that um, E4 for example that fella or female I don't know E4 is uh, his name or her name and uh, constantly is leaving awesome messages Bruce does too George in New Jersey so um, if I'm not leaving comments it's just you know I'm trying to mow the lawn I have two houses now and I have a, a pretty sick wife and I won't say more than that but uh Hopefully by May, um, some of that will be resolved. And uh, the Chuckleheads had considered taking Goober the Traveling Bear to the convention, but, you know, Goober has to go to Kinston, North Carolina for a day and a half to deliver our YouTube money, because as you watch this video, of course, you are donating to to the Weiss Fork Battlefield. Um, that's the charity for this current time period. Now as I put these units together, please excuse me if I forget to change the camera angle. And uh, just, uh, you know, maybe you're painting figures and just li listening to me chit chat too. That could be it. I uh, you got to admit YouTube is an interesting world and how people from all over America and all over the world can stay uh, connected and I, I'm really appreciative of the war gamers in Scotland that follow the channel a little bit now my back war game room where I store everything has become a nightmare so, I'm seriously considering totally ripping it apart in the next couple weeks and um, reorganizing it. So, it's so disorganized, I'm ashamed to have all of you see it. I know Kevin saw it, I think he said... Uh, why don't you rent a flamethrower? <laughs> um, 
A disadvantage for 54 millimeter figures when you have a lot of them and terrain like buildings, uh, Navarones, all that kind of great stuff. There is a negative and it's called space. And I use a lot of space in my basement for storage. Now, someday in the far, far future, I will pass away. And I joke that the war gamers that have to climb into my basement and drag literally maybe 50,000 or more 54 millimeter figures, let alone 3,000 board games, out of here will be a funny sight to see. Now, I actually have a board game person, uh, Mr. Steve Mines of Age of Glory booth. He actually gets all the board games upon my demise. And hopefully that won't be for a long time to come. So, the mix of figures, IMEX and uh, BMC and all here, it really gives these these units um, a lot of variety and there's very little I did touch them up and they have been coated you know I still have maybe a little bit here and there but we are ready to roll for a war game I'm hoping to flock these in the next day or so and uh, the artillery figures are not getting mounted on bases, by the way. They are staying, uh, they are staying separate. So, we're not doing, uh, not doing that. And that's, uh, but as far as these, I'm thinking I can flock a, an entire base in two or three minutes and have them all done. In a short span of time. So, let's see where we're at here. Now, Historicon is, is coming up. And I know in the Bill's Basement videos, I've talked about Historicon again. And uh, not running anything, because i got to be able to come home if my wife has an issue but I'm looking forward to helping the Chuckleheads, Jim Purdy, and his wonderful Pickett's Charge game. He's playtesting that next week at the Little Wars um, War Game Convention. So that should be pretty cool. And I'm sure he will have a sold out crowd. These militia troops, boy, it makes me just want to throw these on the table and do Lexington and Concord. Now, I do have a poll out on, on my YouTube channel. And right now, the Battle of Saratoga was coming up big. But I don't know if I'll have enough troops ready for Saratoga this weekend. That's a, a lot of bases. And Matt's... Uh, Matt, that's, Matt um, who has that Junior General website, what is nice is he does his combat and everything is not by counts of figures, it's counts of bases. So he has a lot of four base regiments. So you're actually losing a, a, a base, a stand of figures and not an actual figure. And then one of the things I did with his rules a couple times is I switched it out where I gave a, a base a saving throw and also an extra hit point so regiments don't dissolve real fast if you do have some uh, incredible good dice rolling and very impressed with uh, the painting that uh, Mike Priest and his brother did on these figures. And I hope Mr. Mike is uh, going to tune in and see this. 
So the Continental Troops here of this batch, and I have lots more batches, are uh, done. And these are some artillery figures and leaders. We're going to pause the camera here, put these figures away, and get out the British. All right, we have the British Grenadiers and the Highlanders. Now, the British Line Infantry units, I already spray painted them along with the French. And uh, Native Americans I have to do yet. So, we are going to go ahead and get these Revoir British Grenadiers and all glued down. And then maybe tonight I will flock these. Um, so we're going to start off with the BMC, the big BMC figures. We're going to get them down and the BMC Grenadiers. Mike's brother really did a beautiful job on painting these. And um, so we put the um, let me see what you're seeing. Maybe all you're seeing is my arm. No idea. So there's the British Grenadiers. And we're going to go ahead and get them uh, glued up here. And we got a lot of them. So I'm very impressed with the painting that his uh, brother did do on these figures. BMC, by the way, seems to take the paint, even the Krylon, um, very, very good uh, compared to, oh, uh, uh, gosh, the uh, armies in plastic. Armies in plastic, they really need, um, they need a lot of uh, prep time. Well, I've had to stop the camera two or three times because of the puppy dogs barking quite ferociously. And um, I'm sure you didn't want to listen to all the dogs barking. So we have our grenadier units being formed up and they're looking good and put a drummer there now I haven't I have to go through gotta find a we're gonna put the Highlanders together so So we have the 42nd, it looks like. So very nice, I have a Highlander unit. Let me get closer. Right now I have a... We have a... British Grenadier drummer that's uh, joining the ranks with the Highlanders. This figure is very, oops, sorry about that everyone, it's very cool. Apologize for that. And if you're new to my channel, gosh, I sure hope you realize that I'm not like many of the other super awesome YouTube channels. I'm just an old chubby war gamer trying to have some fun in the basement, war game at times with friends and get together with people, and also try to help historic sites by donating money uh, from the YouTube channel, also just regular donations. And from my board game sales at Bill Molyneux's Board Game World. So, 
and uh, I do my best to try to get along with everyone and you know I I'm not trying to compete with the big boys because they're all awesome the uh, the big channels so I'm just uh, I will say and I, I'm not uh, Mark's Game Room channel and of course Little Wars TV but Mark's Game Room channel has been doing some phenomenal work um, their B-17 bomber game you know that has um, he's just released it where it has paper paper counters for B-17s and the fighters and you don't even have to buy figures um, I mean how cool is that so I'm uh, I mean, that's pretty neat when you think about it. So I'm hoping that uh, at Historicon to run into Mark and Mark's game room and all of his uh, great fellas that he has in his wargaming group. He's based down in Virginia. And then once my wife uh, is feeling better and different things. Um, I'm hoping to war game more with Ron Prelman, the Pretzel Snyder, Snyder Pretzel King. So, but the, uh, really impressive how well my uh, Grenadiers are looking. I do believe they're uh, quite spiffy. And once all this gets flocked, and I know <laughs> I know some of you are going to say, yeah, crazy for gluing all them down. Well, I have some armies in that tub room that you'd be amazed I haven't gotten out. And I'm really going to be working on taking all the uh, ships and all down to the Virginia home this next uh, next week. And I think... My wife is going to be uh, staying there a little bit to, after some things that hap will happen here in in uh, first of May. Oh, but uh, so this these grenadiers, the BMC ones, are coming along well and. George, New Jersey. I hope to see you at Historicon. Oh. So the Battle of Saratoga. My, my poll, by the way, everyone, is uh, Battle of Saratoga, Lexington Green, Guilford Courthouse, or Fort William Henry. As of earlier today, believe it or not, um, we had really, it was, we had hardly had anything for um Fort William Henry that was almost uh, non-existent so not sure why <laughs> but uh, no one seems to want to watch Fort William, William Henry video so we'll uh, I presume I will be going on to um, Saratoga or Guilford Courthouse as fast as my little body can uh, glue figures down and also do chores for my wife and these figures here I believe are marks from the old marks um, play sets in fact, I'm just about 100% sure of it. And so, 
I've messed up a little bit. I put a Mark's Grenadier, two of them with these guards, but that can easily be fixed. There we go. And the guards have the different style helmets. So, what are you working on in your basement? And some people have super cool war game rooms. I don't know if anyone knows it, but the Little Wars TV fellas, they are totally redoing their war game room area. And uh, by the way, I know most of them and all. They're great guys and all, but um, I think at times they think I'm a bit of a nut with my Goober the Traveling Bear and everything. Maybe not. I think Greg and Tony and all of them are fantastic. And uh, they do so much for this hobby. All right. Well, I've jibber jabbered long enough, I think. I'm going to uh, glue some more figures to more bases. And um, I guess when I get this batch done, I'll look at uh, the line infantry. And for those of you who are hoping to see Fort William Henry this weekend, I think that may be going away for something else on the uh, list. All right. Um, I hope you enjoy this jibber jabbering. And uh, please uh, don't forget, watch my channel, get people to subscribe. Um, as long as my wife is up to it for me to leave her for 48 hours, I'll be going to Kinston, North Carolina, April 25th through the 26th to deliver checks to the CSS News, the CSS News 2, and the Save the Weiss Fork Battlefield Fund. So, um, watch my channel. You're contributing to a history site. Thank you, everyone. Stay safe, be kind, and be courteous.